Hi, uh, this is for word chapter two review assignment. So let's open up the review assignment. So go to table of contents. Okay, let, let me zoom in so I can see the titles. So word chapter two. And then scroll down. Okay, so let's try this practice review assignments. Okay, for this chapter two, these are the topics covered in this chapter. Okay, working with the comments, the navigation pane, you know, finding a replacing text, you know, and then a MLS style. Here's a MLS style, and then a indenting a paragraph, creating a footnote, inserting a page break, bibliography and some other topics. So these are the topics you should know before you try the exercise, the homework. Then in this case, let me just open up this MLA style, MLA. So in a document, some, some instructors you know, ask for, you know, when you create a document, they ask for using MLA style or APA style. So MLA is Modern Language Association and APA is American Psychological Association style. So their style is a little bit different. So in this MLA style, they have, uh, you know, the format is, format is this one. So don't forget this format because we're going to apply this format when we do homework. So it should be double, sp double space for the entire document, double space and remove extra space in a paragraph spacing from uh, from each entire document. This means, you know, once you press the enter key, you know, the new paragraph starts. So there should be no extra paragraph. Okay, and then the third one is increasing the font size. The font size should be 12 points. Okay, indent the first line of each paragraph, 0.5 inches, so indent. So the the first line of each paragraph should start after five, you know, 0.5 inches from the left margin. Okay, the last one is at the page number. Okay, we will add, you know, we will add the page number upper right corner in the upper right corner of each page. Or if we want, we can just omit the page number from the first page. So first page does not show the page number, but second page shows page number two and so on. So these are the format that we need to follow for MLA style. So don't forget this, we will apply this one. All right, so let's go to the table of contents. Uh-uh. Okay, table of contents. Word two. Okay, so open up this practice review assignment and make it large. Okay, so this one says, open the document NPWD 2.3 docs. Okay, this folder, okay, let me open uh, file explorer and then my, my, the student data files in the C drive, CS103 student data files, word data files, and this chapter two. So click word module two, you know, here. So we are in the review. Okay, so this is a review assignment. So in the review folder, we will open up 2.3, actually 2-3, right? Okay, open up, and then we will rename it, okay, save the document as this file name, refinance. So always, this is our, this is the original file, original one. So don't modify the original file. Always save it as your working file. So I'm going to save this file in where? Our work directory. So my work directory is, okay, we will do the same thing. C drive, homework. So I'm going to save it in this homework folder with the file name wt underscore two underscore refinance. All right. So look at, look at the title. The title is 
Titus says the file name. Okay, so let's start from here. Okay, number two, read the uh, first read the first comment. Uh, I think I need to open a little bit. Okay, so as you see this, okay, here's a comment. Comment by Sabrina. Okay, this comment says, please format this handout similar to the first time home buyer document. Use the title style for the document type uh, document title heading one style for the headings so document this is document the first line is the document title so we want to change the style into a title and then headings there are some headings then the headings will be will have heading one style so we will do this step by step okay perform the test described in the second comment and then delete both comments All right. Okay. Why don't we do this one now? So the title style. Okay. The document title will be will be title style. So select the first select the first line. Select the first line. So how do you select the lines? You can start from the before the beginning of the line, and then you can drag it all the way to the right, or you can click the left margin of the line you want to select. Okay, and then the, here is the okay, style group. Okay, home tab, home tab, style group has many styles. So from this, we will apply the title. So click this title style. So this is the title style. Okay, and then the headings. So we will apply heading one style for the headings. So it looks like, scroll down, it looks like choosing a type of loan this is a heading so we will apply heading one style so in the style group select heading one then this will be automatically changed to heading one style and there is more here it is scroll down a little bit qualifying to fight refinance so select this heading and then also click heading one style i think there's another one scroll down all the way and this one refinancing process so this is also a heading so apply heading one style okay and then prepared by okay, prepared by is yes. Severina okay please insert your first and the last name here all right so we want to insert first name and the last name so prepared by Sean Peck and you should write your name not my name okay so that's what we did and then what and then delete both comments delete both comments so click click the first comment then you can uh, you can just apply resolve resolve so you know this one has been fixed or you can click this and then delete delete comment all right on the go scroll down also we did this one you can just type uh, right click right click on the on the uh, comment and then click delete comment so we just deleted two comments here okay in the third paragraph on page one third paragraph so first second third paragraph this term terminology you know the heading is also one paragraph so we count it as a paragraph. So the paragraph has terminology to so change this text to all lowercase. The lowercase, do you remember how to change it to a lowercase? Here is the, the change case, right? Click the change case arrow and then we want to select lowercase menu. So terminology is changed to the lowercase. Okay, attach a comment to the words that explains the change. Oh okay uh, we need to uh, attach a comment so click the review click the review and then we want to add a comment so here's a new comment so click new comment so say change to lowercase 
lowercase. Okay. So you can just add comments by using this one. Or you can delete it using this button. Okay, in the number list on page two, number list on page two is this one. This is the number list. This is a bullet list, right? Bullet it. This is a number list. Okay, move the first item. Prepare for close closing. So move this first item to where? Down to make it the fourth item. So this will be the fourth item. So how do you move it? Okay, once you click this, you can uh, once you select the first first line and then click and drag it click you know press you know press the left mouse key hold it down and then move it to the between three and four so right before four so that line is moved to the third one oh do we move it to the fourth line right? for fourth item so fourth item so we need to move it one more time so preparing for closing, it will be the fourth item. Okay. So how do you move it? You know, select the select the line you want to move, and then click and drag, drag and drop. Okay. Number five. Replace all three instances of mortgage into small case mortgage, making sure to match the case. So when we do this, you can try a. Uh, we can find a word, Ctrl F. Okay, open it a little bit. So we can search for mortgage. So move, move it to the, the Ctrl. The Ctrl Home will move to the Ctrl Home will, will move to the beginning of the document. And then you can type in mortgage. Okay, this is how we can find the mortgage. Uh, one moment. Okay, so we can we can uh, remove this navigation pane and then go to the home tab. Home tab and there is a find menu. Okay, find. So from this find we can do advanced find. Advanced find will give you a pop up menu, pop up dialog box. So from this, we can replace a word. So mortgage, so type mortgage. And then make sure, okay, here, click more button, then match case. So we, okay, let's select this match case so that it will find the mortgage. And then we will replace it too. Okay, here it is. Okay, once we find the mortgage, we will replace this lowercase mortgage. mortgage. Then make sure match case so that you will change to the lowercase. So where is the so from the beginning of the so select the beginning of the document and then find the next. So once it once it finds mortgage and then replace. So the mortgage is changed to lowercase and it finds the next mortgage and then it should be lowercase m. So find so replace again. There's another one and then replace. So we have changed three occurrence of this mortgage. So make sure match case is checked. If you don't mark this match case, then it will not be replaced to the lower case. Okay. And then number six. Okay, format title, refinance it. So this is the first line of the document using the title stats. This is what we did previously. So select the first, first line. What we did is we, we, we selected the heading, the title, title style. Okay, this was done. And then heading one style for the heading. So there are three headings. Three headings are choosing a type of loan, qualifying to refinance this one. And the last one is refinancing process. Okay, this is what we did earlier. Okay, and then display the clipboard pane on page one. 
Okay, copy the printed list of the three major considerations. Credit score. Okay, credit score. Okay. Okay, display the clipboard pane. So the clipboard pane is in the in the home 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 tab. Okay, here is the clipboard group. So click this uh, dialog box. Then this will open up a clipboard pane. So let me clear all the information that I copied. So let me clear it up all. So let's start this. Okay, then copy credit score. So I'm going to copy credit score. Select the credit score and I want to copy. So you can use Ctrl C. Okay, Ctrl C or you can right click and then copy. Then once you copy it, then the information is listed in this clipboard pane. All right, and then we will also copy qualifying to refinance heading. So the qualifying refinance heading is this one. So select this heading and we will do the same thing. Right click, copy or Ctrl C. Ctrl C, so we have that heading here. Okay, that's it. And then open a new blank document. Okay, so why don't we save this one before we before anything gets wrong so save it then now we want to open new document so click file and then open a new blank double click on blank document so we have a new document so from this one save the document as save it as so go to file or go to file no go to file and then save it as Browse to browse it to my to your work folder, which is in case homework. Okay, the file name is np underscore wd underscore to qualify. Okay, so this is the file name and then enter. Okay, the file name, the, the title of the file is same. So this is okay. All right, number nine. At the, at the beginning of the document, paste the heading. So I want to paste this heading. So Okay, Ctrl Z. Okay, move your mouse under the click the arrow on this qualifying to refinance. And then you can paste it. So this is how we can paste it. But we want to paste it. Okay, here it is. Apply the keep text only option. Apply keep text only option. So that is, okay, right click, or you can do this way, right click. This is the keep text only option. So if we click this, then it copies only the, only the text, not because this one, this one has heading one style. Heading one style. So it does not copy the format. So only copying, copy only the text will copy just text. Okay. So we will just remove, select the first line and then remove it. Remove. How do you remove it? Delete it. So use the delete key. So what we have is only the text. So I tried twice, two times. One is with the, if you just copy, then that will keep the format, keep the format. But if we use text, keep text only, then it will, you will just, you know, copy only the text without, uh, without any format. Okay. And then hit enter. Okay, below heading, paste the list of consideration. Reapply the bullet. Okay, what is list of the cons uh, list of the considerations? Wait a second. Uh, that should be this one, right? Okay, one one moment. This one says. Did we? 
Okay, three major considerations. So actually, we should have copied three things. Okay, let me copy these all three things. So this will select these three lists. Select these three lists. Then right click, copy. Okay, so this this one has three uh, three lists. The first one is the three list. So from here, we can apply this. Just click this button. So we have three lists. Or you can use Ctrl V. You know, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. That's how we can copy and paste. But if you see the clipboard, this one has all the all the text that is you know copied in order. So the first copied information comes first. Okay, and then all right. So next step is okay. We just pasted this one, the three considerations, and then apply bulleted already because we copied with the format, so it already has a bullet. If we copy text on it, then we have to apply bullet. So bullet, bullet comes from this arrow. Bread arrow, right? Okay. And then at the end of document, type prepared by followed by your name, Sean Peck. Your name. And then save the file as qualify. So this is the file name currently. So save our work. So click the save button or Ctrl S. Control S will save the file and then close it. Okay, close it. Okay, in the uh, refinance doc, so this is the refinance doc. Okay, clear the contents of the clipboard. So we can clear this one by clicking the clear all. So we just cleared all the copied information. And then save the document and close it. So save it, save the file, Control S. Or we'll save it and then close. All right, so we are done for this one. Get section 13. Okay, open 2.4 and then save it as comedy. Okay, 2.4, open 2.4. Okay, this 2.4 is in. Okay, 2.4 is in. CS 103, student data files, and then word 2 and review. Okay, so open it up and then say, okay, let me cl uh, close this clipboard. Okay, can then save the file as the always your work file should be different file name. Always, so I will save it under home folder, and the file name is np underscore wd underscore two underscore comedy. All right, next. In the paragraph, in the, in the first paragraph, replace Sabrina's name with your name. Sabrina's name is this one. So let's change it to your name, my name. Actually, your name. Okay, adjust the font size, line spacing, paragraph spacing, graph indent to what? MLS style. So do you remember the MLS style is what? line spacing is double space so why don't we select whole document so ctrl a okay, ctrl a means it will select all the contents in the documents so i want to make it double space so how do you make it double space so you can from this graph group click the line spacing this one select 2.0 2.0 means double space okay paragraph spacing Okay, paragraph spacing is zero, right? Zero. So click the paragraph and then we will make it before and after all zeros. All zeros. And then make sure there is no other uh, extra space. And then paragraph indent. Paragraph indent is we have to put 0.5 apart. So select the first line of each paragraph, and then this one should be 
Okay, why don't we, why don't you click this one indent increase indent so increase indent oh, sorry sorry about this one so instead of this one we will change this into 0.5 and then press you know press the tab key so Okay. Do Ctrl A, Ctrl A, do the Ctrl A and select 0.5. Click this 0.5, then you will see this little mark. So this is a tab. This is tab. So from each first line of each paragraph, press tab. Okay, and the press okay, S, okay, click the first line of this paragraph, tab. And then even scroll down, slapstick, tab, at the heart, tab. And then what, what do we have? Okay, in situation, tab. So what I did is Ctrl A, Ctrl A, then we will, this one selects all the contents, and then make sure we will have, we will add a left tab. So click this 0.5. Uh, ruler, ruler, 0.5 on this ruler, and then select each line, the first line of each paragraph, and then tap. Okay. Next, okay, I think that's it for this one. Do we have a, uh, right, and then, oh, right, the page number, right, page number. Okay, number seven is the page number. So we want to insert the page number. So how to insert the page number? Okay, go to insert. So from this one, we can insert a page number. So click insert, and then page. So if we make it a little longer, then we can see this one page. So we can put page number. Or we can put here page number is over header and footer, header and footer, page number. So I want to, okay, for MLA, we will put the page number on the upper right corner. So select the top of the page. And then why don't we select, uh, now anything is fine, basically. So upper right corner. So why don't we select the plane number three. So page number is here. Scroll down, then page two, and then we have a page two, two pages. Okay. And then look at this one. Okay, we want to insert page number on every page except the first page. Use the same font as in the rest of the document. So we will okay, okay, insert your first, your last name and the page number. So we have a page number here. So from this page number, okay, move, okay, click the left button so the cursor is blinking before the page number and the type your last name and space. Last name and space, make sure you have a page number so your last name is left of your page number and blend between these two. Scroll down, see page two, right? All right. And then double click. All right. And then we don't want to display this page number on the first page. So from this one, as you see this in the options group, options group, here's a different page, different first page. So click different first page. So the first page is different from others. So the page number starts from number two. So the page numbers on the first page does not display. Okay, and then double click on the main body. So we just okay, double click the main body so there is no uh, no headers at all. So if we want to click the header, so click the header, so page, page number. So the click, double click the header, then this will get into the header. And as you see this header and footer toolbar is displayed here. So once you're done, you can click the close button or you can simply double click the main body of the document.
Okay, on page two, okay, the, the term slapstick derives from is here. So we want to point it after this sentence. So loudly. So click loudly. So insert a footnote at the end of sentence. At the end of the sentence. So the, at the end of sentence is loudly. So click loudly between okay after the after the period so make sure put your insertion point right after the period loudly and then we want to insert footnote okay footnote is in the reference for reference tab okay the reference tab has footnote citation captions and so on so from this the footnote is select from this footnotes group select insert footnote so once you insert the footnote number is automatically increased number number starting from number one and as you insert more footnotes the number will increase by one so start so the first the number one is for this footnote we will write this many uh, this information many images of slapsticks available the web search for the term order noise maker okay so this is how we can insert footnote so select insert a point where you want to put footnotes and then insert then you can you can type you know the information of the footnote at the bottom of this page can if necessary select MLA 7th edition okay the 7th edition is here so from this reference tab the style for this document is MLA already seen MLA so make sure you click the MLA uh, the style arrow and then we will select MLA 7th edition so we know that this is written in MLA style Okay, use the navigation pane to highlight all instances of upper, uppercase words, cite, citation. Okay, so for this navigation pane, why don't we click Ctrl F. You know, Ctrl F is find, right? Find. And then let's type citation, citation. So this will give us all the citation across on the document. So keep the navigation pane open so you can continue to use it to find the locations where you find. So the locations are here. All right, so for this one, okay, delete the first instance of citation. So it says to delete the first uh, this, this word and the space before it. So why don't we just Okay, from this click the citation and then why don't we just delete it all the way to the space and then create a new source with the following information so we want to insert a citation so next citation is okay click here's the citation so i want to insert a citation click the arrow and then add new source new source of the citation the type of the source is book so select the book and then the author is Cleo Jen she's and then title a history in words and photos year 2018 City, Cambridge, and the publisher. We are creating a site, uh, creating a citation. And then medium is print. Hit enter. So click OK. So as you see this one, uh, you know. The citation information is added here, so why don't you click the arrow and then we want to edit the citation. 
So edit the citation to add 106 as the page number. So click edit citation and then enter page number 106. Display only the number in the citation. So what happens? Let's see what happens when you click the OK button. 106 added, but still we have a name here. So why don't we, we need to remove this name? So get okay, surprise. We can click author or let's click what happens when we check the author. It shows the author, right? Okay, try another three more. Oh, okay, not here. Here. Okay, arrow button, edit. So why don't we click title as well? Everything. So we removed everything except the page number. So what I did is I checked author and the title. And OK. So this one shows only the page number. OK, delete the second instance. Hit enter. So this should be the second, enter, second instance, right? Okay, delete the second, uh, the second instance of citation and space before it. So we will remove it. Remove, you know, you can just delete or you can put backspace. And the space before it and then create a new source. Okay, new source. So we will ins insert a citation one more time. Add new source. Okay, this time the source type is journal article and the author is Frida, Frida Robbins. Okay, title. You know you can press tab key. The tab key will move to the next next space, next available field. This is called Comedy in early American. So what we are doing is, and you know, we are keep entering the information of this source. The journal name, media, signpost, quarterly, criticism, and comment. Year is 2016, page 68 to 91, volume. Look at this. We have a page, but we don't have a volume and issue and something. So in this case, you can put, uh, we can show, here is a check show or bibliography field. So click, check this mark so that we have more field here. So from this one, we can enter the volume. So volume, scroll down a little bit. So we should have volume here. So volume is 10. And then issue is 2. Medium is web. Okay, so when we don't have enough fields, so make sure to show, check this mark so that we can have all the bibliography field here. So click OK. Edit the citation. Edit the citation to page number 75. So click this and the arrow, edit citation, it should be 75. As we did uh, earlier, check author and title. So we have only this one. Okay, delete the third instance of citation. So from here, from this navigation pane, enter. So we have uh, the next citation. So delete this, so you can press backspace or delete uh, from here. You can put backspace and remove it. And then insert the citation for the book Clio Gen Gen or Gen 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 Okay. So from this, okay, after the romance, click insert citation arrow. Okay, look at this. We added, we created two sources. Robinson and Gent, 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 uh, whatever. So click the second part. Okay, so we just edit this instance. Okay, at the end of the document, 
start a new page at the end of the document. So let me close this time. Okay, at the end of the document, so scroll all the way down, or you can press Ctrl end. Okay, from this, okay, we want to create a new page. Okay, new page is uh, select Ctrl and enter. So hold down the Ctrl key and hit enter. Okay, hold down the Ctrl key. The Ctrl key is on the lower left corner of your keyboard. And then hit enter. So you will create a new, uh, new page. Okay, at the end of document, start. Okay. Insert a bibliography in in a content control heading works cited. So from this the last page, okay, we want to insert a bibliography. So click the bibliography arrow. Then this one give us some three examples of the bibliography. And then we will select the last one, works cited. So click this. So this one shows you know, do you remember the, the citation we added? We create a new source, and those new source is displayed in this bibliography. Okay. Okay, in the second source, uh, in, the sec in the second source, okay, Robin, okay, change the Robbins to Robinson. Okay, we want to change this. This is Robbins, so we want to change this one into Robinson. So how do we update this source? Okay, when we update the source, okay, select this manage source. Manage sources button in this citation and bibliography group. So we can change from this one. So here is the Robinson, right? So double click the Robinson. Or you can click a Robinson and then edit. Select edit. So from this one, change this Robins, Robins into Robinson. Robinson, right? And then click OK. Then it asks to also add the modify the original one. So say yes. Update it and done. Okay, we updated the manage the, the source, the original source, but this one is not updated yet. So how do you update this one? Okay, select this one. On the top of this bibliography, okay, update citation. So click this then it will be updated. Okay, and then next, finalize this one to create MLS style. Okay, the bibliography, we want to finalize this. So how do you, okay, what's the B, uh, MLS style? MLS style is double space. So click home, and it should be double space. So change this one to a double space. And then, what else? And then the paragraph, should be none, right? Zero, just put zero and zero before and after. Okay, what else? I think that's it, right? And then and then this is 0.5. So that is okay. I think we are done. So from this, save the document and close it. So save it. And then close. Okay, so we are done for this practice homework.